Rutgers game, chance to get back on, on winning track. Thought defensively played very, very well. Uh, no third down conversions, tough to run against. Zero big plays, shut out, all the things that you need. On the offensive side of the ball, we've got uh, explosive plays. We're able, we're able to run the ball effectively. Um, stalled out a couple times on fourth and one, but, but um, you know, uh, got some things done on that, on that end of the spectrum as well, and uh, came away with a 27-0 win and uh, a step forward, I think, in, in terms of what we needed to do. Uh, this game's a pro game, program game, much like it was probably in 12 with the Minnesota game. I think the standard is, um, as I told our football team yesterday, I don't care where you're at in the scheme of things within your schedule, when you when you win your sixth game, you sort of meet the, meet the minimum in terms of, uh, of accomplishment. You know, you're bowl eligible, you have a chance for a winning season, things of that nature. And so we'll build on that, we'll deal with that as we move forward. And um, the only thing that we can turn, sort of change is the future. Well, uh, we're disappointed in, the, in uh, where we're at. Uh, we still have an opportunity to, to play ourselves forward, and that's what we'll do. And when you look at Maryland right now, they've gone through some challenges themselves, a lot of injuries, much like us. Um, probably later than earlier, their injuries have, have affected their so many different things along on their um, on their in their program as well. Outstanding running backs in McFarland, number twenty, lead number five. Uh, McFarland really averages seven point I think seven six per carry yards after contact. Number one in the Big Ten. They've struggled at quarterback, having to use four different ones this past week because of injuries, etc. Um, defensively. Uh, Brooks is the is the guy in 25. He's an outstanding football player, and um, I think he's one of the top leaders, if not the leader, in tackles per per game. Uh, Coach Loxley comes comes back to to Maryland after being gone for a while. I think that he's had has an outstanding resume, and uh, we'll have his guys playing very very well as they come over. I know uh, as we get into this. Uh, you know, we go into Thanksgiving weekend, but uh, you know, as always, I appreciate the Spartan support in terms of uh, who is there and how we handle things. So I'll take some questions and go from there.